Baron Blade. Baron Blade here. Just wanted to let you know my BCW contract offers. Hey. Hey, I got your number from some creepy. So, I heard my sign and I Red, it's your old pal, Baron Blade. Hey, bro. Uh, good match up there tonight. Just wanted to let you know that I think you and your friend made the right call, not signing with Baron. In the long run, it's going to save you a lot of headaches and money. Oh, speaking of saving money, I just happen to be selling two slightly used jet skis for a price that will knock your socks off. Which is perfect, because you wear socks when they're on a jet ski. <laughs> anyway, let me know if you're in, and I'll even deliver them to you no extra cost. On a trailer. Not like I'd show up driving them on the water. I mean, unless you live near a dock, then maybe I could do that. that you know what? We'll figure that out later. Oh, one more thing. I just started a podcast with Buzz. Uh, you know, my super successful WWE superstar best friend. Anyway, you can check out the pod while you're working out your bod. That's a catchphrase for the show that we've been workshopping. Honestly, I think we nailed it. Let me know about the personal watercrafts. Later. Well, we never heard back from you about coming to your show, so I think we got the message loud and clear that you don't want us around. Or at least I did. I had to practically restrain your mother from going down to the high school. I anyway, if space was what you wanted, well, you, you got it. We won't bother you anymore. But the door will always be open if you, if you want to work things out. And uh, I hope that happens. So... Bye for now, and good luck. I feel like I recognize you from somewhere. Calgary? Oh, I know. You look just like the woman in those TV commercials for IBS. I think it's that scrunched up, miserable face you're always making. I beat you in my first match ever, remember? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. But congrats on winning that cute little trophy. Let me know if you ever want to step up and face some real competition. I just want to reiterate that we had no intention of signing you to NXT, possibly ever. But thanks to your friend sticking her neck out for you, that's obviously changed. So I suggest you make the most of this opportunity. I will. Wait, so are you saying your buddy X-Pac never mentioned me? No, he did. Oh, okay. So at least you have his recommendation to go off of too. I said he mentioned you. I didn't say it was good.
I hate these things so much. Then why were you in such a hurry to get here? Because I hate being late slightly more than I hate awkward social obligations. I mean, if one more person says something dumb like, Look, it's red on the red carpet! I'm going to strangle them. Um, red? Well, there goes my opening line. (laughs) She gets a little cranky when she's nervous. Anyway, I've been covering the WWE Hall of Fame for almost 15 years, and I've never seen anything like this. We've had individuals, tag teams, factions, families, but never a pair of best friends inducted together. This is truly a special night. It really is, Byron. But just because our in-ring careers are over doesn't mean we can't continue to give back to the business that gave so much to us. In fact, that's why I'd like to officially announce I'm available for commentary and hosting work. So, WWE, if you're looking to freshen things up around here, then you know where to find me. Are you trying to take my job? What? I'd never do that. Don't be so insecure, Byron. Okay, well, that concludes one of the most interesting red carpet interviews of all time. Live TV, everyone. What was that? You're welcome for taking the heat off of you. And maybe I was auditioning for a gig. You don't want to stay involved in some way? No. When I said I was done, I meant it. Red. Trey. Velveteen. Congratulations. But just keep in mind. It's one thing to achieve your dreams. But you will never be the dream. Great to see you too. See? That's why I hate these things. You run into all sorts of people you have history with. That was super awkward. Yeah? Well, at least it didn't end with someone getting knocked out like back in the day. Hey, where are you going? The show hasn't even started yet. I don't have anything to do, so I'm leaving. Seriously? You should stay. You you never know what could happen, plus it at least gives the impression that you care. I do care. In fact, I care too much, which is why I can't take just sitting around doing nothing while everyone else gets opportunities. We're still relatively new here. I think you just need to give it more time. We've been in NXT for months and I've barely been on TV. And other than you, no one even knows who I am. It's like high school all over again, right down to having to ask permission to use the bathroom. Who makes you do that? Cassius Ono. Wait, is he just messing with me? See? Exactly like high school. Look, bathroom pranks aside, I think you're overreacting. Really? Watch this. Hey, Ricochet, good luck with your match tonight. Oh, thanks, Troy. He almost got your name right. That's a start. If that doesn't prove my point, I've also asked just about everyone on the roster to be my partner for the Dusty Classic, and they all said no. Or worse, ignored me. Okay, fine. Maybe there's some truth to what you're saying, but I still believe it'll get better. Do you think anyone would catch on if you disguised yourself as a man so you could be my partner? (laughs) As much as I'd love to try to pull that off... I'm focused on beating Rhea Ripley to get a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. It's going to be tough since she still hasn't gotten over the fact that I beat her in the Mae Young Classic. But at least you have the Mae Young Classic win. It proved you belong here. My problem is everyone thinks I'm just riding your coattails. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm going to ride my own coattail. How do you plan on doing that? I need to do something big to get people's attention. Something that'll change the narrative. And I need to do it tonight. I like the fact that you're not just giving up and going home, but keep in mind, I put my reputation on the line by getting you hired here. So anything you do ultimately reflects back on me. I understand, but you have nothing to worry about. Hey, do you know where I could get some handcuffs on short notice? And now I'm worried.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and will determine the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. Wait a second, what's he doing out here? Before we get to that match, which my friend Red is gonna dominate, there's something I need to say. When I was signed to NXT, I was told to make the most of my opportunity. Well, so far, the only opportunity I've had is to sit in the back every week like some kind of glorified cheerleader watching everyone else do their thing while I ask myself over and over again why I'm not out here. Maybe it's because I'm not good enough in the ring or I don't have the right look or I rub someone the wrong way. Or maybe it's simply because my friend helped me get a job and no one can see me as anything other than a charity case. I could drive myself crazy trying to figure it out, but one thing's for sure. If I never get a chance to show what I'm capable of, how will anyone know if I deserve to be here or not? Luckily, there's a tournament coming up that has put countless NXT superstars on the map, the Dusty Classic. Only problem is, I've tried and tried to find a partner, and so far, all I've gotten is a bunch of no's, blank stares, and who the heck are you's? But there's one person I haven't asked yet. Someone who calls themselves the Dream. But they've never competed in the tournament named after the real Dream, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. So I'm not leaving this ring until Velveteen Dream comes out and agrees to be my partner. Wait, are, are those handcuffs? Are you kidding me? Get this idiot out of the ring. No wonder no one wants to be his partner. Uh, this is certainly an unconventional way of doing things. He called out Velveteen Dream, and thankfully, here he comes. Yeah, hopefully to put an end to this mess. So, are you going to be my partner? Because as you can see, I'm not going anywhere until I get a yes. The dream always keeps a spare handcuff key on his person. You never know when you might need it. If you want the Dream to be your partner, then you need to prove yourself by beating the Dream in a match later tonight. You've got the Dream's attention, but let's see if you can keep it. That was certainly unexpected, but Velveteen Dream has made a career out of defying expectations. Look, I don't care how weird that was. At least Velveteen got the moron out of the ring. Let's get back to the previously scheduled match. all that me riding my own coattail well maybe give me a heads up next time you're gonna hijack the show right before my match you got this
We apologize again for the delay in bringing you this number one contender match for Candice LeRae's NXT Women's Championship. Delay is a much nicer term than I would have used. You have to wonder if that interruption will throw either of these women off their game tonight. That's a valid question, but knowing the history they have with each other going back to last year's Mae Young Classic, I think both Red and Rhea will be more focused on the task at hand. Whoa, it's another reversal. All the way to incoming. Well, that was unique. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Powerbomb. That offense taking a toll on her. She can withstand the punishment, though. And here we go now, elbow drop. She's gaining momentum here, guys. She's a live wire right now. Get out of her way. Anticipated that attack perfectly. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Close line over the top rope. All the way to the floor. Swiss one nine. And she's back in the ring now. And scissors Ooh. take down. Oh, very nice. Going high risk again. If you look up bad attitude in the dictionary, I'm pretty sure you'll see Rhea Ripley's photo right there on the page. Rhea Ripley is the walking, talking personification of a bad attitude. Uh, you can't look up bad attitude in the dictionary, Saxton. You can look up bad or attitude. I'll give you, Rhea Ripley certainly has attitude. Exhibiting some amazing acrobatics. Looking bad for her here. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Not what she was looking for. In the corner now. Devastating kick. Into the hammerlock. Oh boy. Rhea answers with a decisive big kick. That right, looks like that rocked Red. Red counters with a super kick. Both women are down. It's over. Hold on. Both women's shoulders were on the map when the ref counted three. I saw two. Can we get some kind of official ruling on this? Rhea Ripley and Red both believe they won and deserve the title opportunity. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens next. What else could go wrong tonight? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cardiff, Wales. Weighing in at 220 pounds. 
As we ready for singles action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their Here on NXT, it's dream time! If you missed the opening moments of our broadcast tonight, Trey called out the Velveteen Dream, demanding he be his partner for the upcoming Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Yeah, but you left out the part where Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes. Luckily, Velveteen had a key here. That idiot would probably still be stuck in the ring. Oh, let's not forget what Velveteen Dream said. If Trey can defeat him, Velveteen will be his partner for the Dusty Classic. There's a lot riding on this match. Oh, this guy Trey's only here because his friend got him a job. There is no way he's going to beat Velveteen Dream. Showing a lot of fury with these attacks. Tapped into an energy source and he's going strong. Oh, man. Boom! Right between the eyes. Lost in the corner right now. He's getting a little battered now. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah. Nice. Oh, able to counter. Oh, look at this. Look at the suplex off the top rope. Oh, jeez. Oh, Take all the wind out of you. you. Had it scouted. Huge overhead belly to belly. Who does this methodical pace benefit? Oh, flipping the script on him there. Close line! Oh, that'll leave a mark. Off the ropes. Saw what he had in mind there. The cutter never ceases to amaze me. Trey setting up for a suplex, but Velveteen blocks it twice. <laughs> Velveteen Dream hits the neck breaker. Maybe you'll find a partner next year, pal. And now he's going to the top. This might put an end to Trey's hopes of competing in the Dusty Classic. Do it, Dream. Rainmaker. Thankfully, this is all over. Come on, cover him. What's the hold up? Wait, what's Velveteen doing? No, no. He's telling the referee to count. Velveteen Dream is letting Trey win. You gotta be kidding me. What the heck is he thinking? Why would you do this? Maybe Velveteen wanted to be Trey's partner after all. Who knows with Velveteen, but that guess is as good as any. I can't believe it. This dream just turned into an absolute nightmare. Velveteen's confusing actions aside, you're looking at the newest team to enter the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic.
Hey, I'll make this quick because I don't know how many minutes you have left on your track phone, but I just wanted to tell you in case you somehow missed all the coverage, I won my fight last night! 10-0 and 0 now and my career is really taking off. I'm starting to get talk show appearances, commercial offers, I even got an album deal in Brazil. Here's a preview of my first track. Hot head red, hot head red, hot head red, hot head red. Pretty good, right? <laughs> Later. Hey, I ran into Triple H earlier and assured him your stunt last week was just a one-time thing. You're lucky he thought it was good TV or you might be out of a job. Triple H thought I was entertaining? That's great! That's not exactly what I would have gotten out of that statement. Nonetheless, I'm happy you found someone to team with for the Dusty Classic, even if it's Velveteen Dream. What do you mean, even if? I just don't think he's the most trustworthy partner. But hopefully I'm wrong. He's too set on proving he's the real dream to pull anything on me. So don't worry, I'll be fine. But what about your big contract signing tonight? You have anything planned? Yeah. I'm gonna go out there and sign the contract. That's it? These things are all about playing mind games with your opponent to get an advantage in the match. Like, what if you brought your Mae Young Classic trophy to the ring with you? That would really get in Rhea's head. Okay, since you seem to know about this sort of thing, I'll take your advice and bring the trophy out. Great. So, what did Triple H say about last week being good TV? Did he like my promo, or the handcuff move, or just everything overall? You should focus on your match. I heard what you said last week about wanting to prove you belong in NXT. I respect that, but it's not going to come at our expense. No, sir. Not our expense, Taki. We came back to NXT for one reason. To win the Dusty Rhodes Classic. Back to win the whole enchilada! I actually watched your previous Dusty Classic matches to try to get an advantage, but there wasn't a lot to go on. You know, because you always lost in the first round. You went there, huh? He did go there. Sounds like he wants to fight! I'm just stating a fact. Then here's another one. Tonight, we're gonna destroy you. That's right, Ducky, cause we're coming! I let you win last week, because the dream thought about what you said, and I want to prove that I am the real dream. That's all this is. You're just lucky to be along for the ride. Okay, fine. But now that we're partners, shouldn't we discuss strategy or something? Here's a strategy. Stay out of the dream's way.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Cardiff, Wales, Wayne. Here on NXT, it's dream time. And there are I'm curious to see what kind of chemistry Trey and Dream have tonight, as this is their very first time teaming together. And on top of that, they're facing a seasoned duo and heavy machinery with the added stakes of the Dusty Rhodes and Team Classic. Well, speaking of stakes, heavy machinery have returned to NXT with one goal in mind. That's to accomplish something they were never able to do before leaving for WWE. Win the Dusty Classic. Oh, a debilitating elbow drop. He's absorbed some damage already. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this team on his back, which really isn't necessary considering he has a very capable partner he could tag in here. His offense is on point right now. And he's a guy that can flip a switch and turn it on like this. And the big right hands unloading. Tagged in. You know, for somebody who hasn't been in the business all that long, I'd say Velveteen Dream sure does have a high opinion of himself. It's almost as if he looks down at the rest of the roster. This could be dangerous. Huge overhead belly to belly. Ah, oh, bear hug. Look at the power. This could be it. Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. He's not looking so hot here, guys. And momentum is certainly not on his side right now. Wicked body shot. Tagged in. Well, nasty fall. To Michael's point about Velveteen Dream's disdain for the locker room, it's no secret that the superstar he detests the most are those who first made a name for themselves on the independent scene. Hoping to make a tag here. And it sounds like there are a lot of people here tonight hoping for the exact same thing. Almost just a little bit further. Come on now, almost there. Don't give up now. He's getting closer, Corey. And look at his partner. He wants in in the worst way. heels a bit now. This is not the time to be a hero. To keep this match from slipping away, he needs to get his partner in there and take a break. Desperately needs to make a tag here. I don't know. It's going to be tough to make it to the corner. Wow. Oh, that's just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. Gets the tag. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers. Stevens and Patterson. Stevens and Bockwinkle. The Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Producing a trampling. Velvet Dream delivering the full experience. No doubt he is a force of nature. Harsh impact. This match grinded him down a little. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tag.
Oh, look at his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. That is a great reversal. Now another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. Wow, what a sequence. And off the tag. One, two. Now step up and Zagari right in the ear. Really needs to get to the corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than later. Missed the tag there. tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Oh, I didn't see that coming from Otis. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Comes in off the tag. Been roughed up pretty hard here. I can't say I expected to see this tonight. It's not every day you see a guy as talented as him take such a beating. Absolutely has to make a tag here. Yeah, but that's easier said than done, Michael. He's so close to making the tag here, Corey. Yeah, but think of all the energy he's expending. Flying! Beautiful Rainmaker! Big opportunity for him now. I don't know if Otis can recover. Go with Team Dream with the Russian leg sweep. Tagged in. Otis got out of there that time. Oh. He might have been waiting on that one. He's looking to fly. From the top. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. He has become relentless at this point. Not sure if he can sustain this. But it's sure fun to watch right now. His head's taking the brunt of the punishment here. Come on, man. Put your arms up. Play some defense. Gets him with a counter. Looking stunned. Looking rocked. Reversal. Oh, what an uppercut. They're going to make a much needed tag here. And if successful, we may be looking at a whole new match here. Almost makes the tag. Yeah, but almost means absolutely nothing, Cole. Look at Saxton. He's almost tolerable. Doesn't mean he is, though. Oh, Backbreaker. Hammerlock. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't see that coming from Otis. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Ouch. Brutality. 
This can't go well. Amazing execute. He can pin his opponent right here. to the entire locker room with that win. When you put these two together, victory is really the only plausible outcome. What a great tag team match. Thanks for watching, everybody. You all have history with one another, but at NXT TakeOver, more history will be made when you'll compete in a triple threat match for Candice LeRae's NXT Women's Championship. Now, if you could each sign your names on the contract, we can make this match official. Before we sign anything, I want to ask what you're doing out here with that trophy. You think you're real cute, don't you? This thing? I actually bring it everywhere. The grocery store, the gym, car wash, contract signings. I even sleep with it sometimes. Helps remind me of how I won the Mae Young Classic on my very first try. But who did I beat in the finals? Huh. I can't remember. I don't have time for this. You might want to stick around for a preview of what I'm going to do at TakeOver. And thanks to Rhea Ripley, this contract signing has officially gone off the rails. I mean, when do they ever stay on the rails, Byron? Rhea Ripley's going on a rampage. And now Rhea's using the Mae Young Classic trophy as a weapon. Well, that's what Red gets for bringing it out here. It looks like Red has some kind of eye injury. No one deserves that, Corey. I don't give a damn about that. This is what I want. I'm so sorry. This is my fault. Rhea Ripley made a statement tonight. She will destroy anything in her path to capture the NXT Women's Championship. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Cardiff, Wales, weighing in at 220 pounds. Byron, what? Here on NXT, it's dream time! Montez Ford and A. 
Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. This is it. This is the match we've all been waiting for. And the electricity level in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt. whether Trey can stay focused after what happened last week to his best friend Red at the hands of Rhea Ripley. Yeah, we've been told Red is home recovering with an eye injury, and it's not certain whether she'll be cleared for NXT TakeOver. Well, given what I've seen so far from Trey, I don't think his brain's capable of focusing on multiple things at once. So unless Velveteen Dream can carry their team to victory tonight, I fully expect the Street Profits to advance. Wasn't expecting that. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Straight punch. Ooh, oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. As we've seen countless times over the years, superstars oftentimes try to make a statement with their entrance. And I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that, firing it. NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Yeah, and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career. Off the ropes. Says four turning the tables. And again, yet another counter. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Wicked body shot. Oh, what four. He is just reeling from that offense. If you told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you. I'm a little iffy on why that would be a good decision. I'm going to make the tag here. Attack at this point can change the whole complexion of this match, Michael. No, he comes up short. Boy, we really need. Dream Valley Driver. We all know what's next. Did Trey just tag himself in? What is he thinking? Trey with his version of the Purple Rainmaker. And it's all over. Trey and Velveteen advance to the finals of the Dusty Classic. Look at this clown celebrating like he accomplished something. He stole the win from Velveteen Dream. All that matters is they won and they're advancing. And look, Velveteen approves. Yeah, well, I don't.
Welcome to NXT TakeOver, where we have huge breaking news. Red has officially been cleared to compete for the NXT Women's Championship against Candice LeRae and Rhea Ripley, who brutally attacked Red just a few weeks ago. In addition to that enormous match, we also have the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, where Trey and Velveteen Dream will take on the Viking Raiders. Well, Byron, in all your excitement, you forgot to mention that since the Women's Championship match is back to a triple threat, that also means it'll be no disqualification which, if you ask me, only means trouble for Candace and Ray. Hey, I heard the good news, you were cleared, but uh, you sure you're okay? I'm only sure of one thing. I'm going to annihilate Rhea Ripley. She almost took everything from me, but her mistake was she stopped at almost. Tonight, I won't stop. At least your match is no DQ. That way you can take care of Rhea and still win the title, so that's good. Ooh. I'd say it's very good. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, the dream's reflection is beautiful. Right. Well, that trophy could be ours, but I was thinking we still don't feel like a real team. And a big part of that is because we don't have matching outfits like all the great tag teams throughout history. So... I went and had these made. I hope you like them. I love them. The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Washington. It's a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael, and judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. What about you, Byron? What do you think the challenger has to do to be successful here tonight? She's definitely impressed in the weeks leading up to this match. If she can replicate those types of performances, she has a real chance of walking out of here as the winner. The one-woman wrecking ball is ready to roll. Oh, I love Candace. This is going to be fun. And introducing the champion from Anaheim, California, she is. <laughs>
It's all about the NXT Women's Championship. Everyone who has held that title has gone on to create massive waves in sports entertainment. There are no eyes to the future right now, Cole. These ladies have only one thing in mind, and that's being the next NXT Women's Champion. These three women have crossed paths before, but never with so much on the line. Yeah, a big match on the Indies can put you on the map. The May Young Classic can kickstart a career, but becoming NXT Women's Champion can define a career. But are you guys forgetting that Red's out here competing half blind? I mean, I realize she was cleared and she's obviously not 100%. The real story is whether Candice LeRae will be able to stop Rhea Ripley from taking her title. As far as I'm concerned, Red's a non-factor. I would never say that, Corey. In fact, Red's got an extra gear of anger, and I think she might be able to use that to her advantage tonight. Gotta wonder how this is gonna end, Byron. It's not gonna be good. Oh, right to the back! Amazing reflexes on display. Elbow drop. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Power bomb. Back into the ring. And scissors oh, take oh, down. Oh, very nice. Look at the agility. That's a good way to make your presence felt. She's bringing the pressure on now. She's a live wire when she's plugged in. Wow, she turned that one around. Avoiding trouble there. Into the hammerlock. Oh, boy. Lights out, DDT connects. Uh-oh, she scores big with the counter. Whoa, it's another reversal. She's taken to the floor when she can be ever so dangerous. There was a lot of force behind that one. She is just too quick. Got out of the way in a hurry. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Oh, and she lands the kendo stick. I think that's the second one here tonight. She's really relying on that object a lot now. And I can't say that I blame her. Oh! Oh, what impact. Incredible. There's a lot of force behind that one. Simply said, this is going to be a great match. All three of these competitors hoping to walk away with the winner's end of the purse tonight. Nice half kick, great elevation. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Again with it. She's showing no mercy tonight. I really thought the champ would have put this match away by now. Must be an off night. Oh, again! Oh, what impact! Big reversal. Ooh! Oh, what impact! She just keeps using that. Hey, look at you. She's taking charge here. Not sure how long she can keep it up, but she is fired up right now. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Boom, right 
the button. Back suplex. Here she goes, back in the ring now. There it is. Did you hear that crap? Gets her again. Man, she really knows how to handle herself, huh? Oh! Oh, nasty impact. Oh, what impact. Harsh impact. Oh! Reverses. Can she take advantage? There's a lot of force behind that one. She's really relying on that object a lot now. And I can't say that I blame her. Boom! Oh, oh, oh. oh, nasty impact. Oh, what impact. Harsh impact. Oh! Harsh impact. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, 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 oh. Eludes the attack. Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. Back suplex. And scissors Ooh, take down. Oh, oh. Very nice. Impressive in-ring IQ on display. Smooth-ass press! By oh, God, burn! Down to the floor. To the outside. She got out of the way there. Her evasion techniques are on point. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. And the Lutez press! Piston like rights. Ooh, what impact! For the win to retain the championship! One, two, three. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Wow. Perfectly executed. Neck breaker. Back suplex. Into the hammerlock. Oh boy. Some great effort. We'll see if it lasts. Ah. Again with it. She's showing no mercy tonight. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Oh, nasty impact. Oh, what impact. Wow, she turned that one around. Here's the pin. Title on the line. It's 
Crossover fight. No, kick out at two. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. Boom, a forearm smack. Watch out here. Rock drop kick. She's leaving the ring. What's going to happen now? Well scouted reversal there. She just keeps using that. Hey, look, you. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. She's trying to. She returns the favor there. Can't 
Bray with a beautiful counter. Now another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Back suplex. And she gets driven to the mat. Good vertical suplex. Bam. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. And again, yet another count. Oh, what's up? What an incredible moonsault. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Three women have crossed paths before, but never with so much on the line. Yeah, a big match on the Indies can put you on the map. The Mae Young Classic can kickstart a career, but becoming NXT Women's Champion can define a career. But are you guys forgetting that Red's out here competing half blind? I mean, I realize she was cleared, and she's obviously not 100%. The real story is whether Candice LeRae will be able to stop Rhea Ripley from taking her title. As far as I'm concerned, Red's a non-factor. I would never say that, Corey. In fact, Red's got an extra gear of anger, and I think she might be able to use that to her advantage tonight. Continuing the attack on the core. And why not? It's been effective up to this point. Not what she was looking for. Drop kick! Oh, she turns it around. Hook them up. Suplex! Looks like she's struggling for air. And that's a direct result of this continued assault on the torso. Side possibly looking to injure the torso here. Gee, looks like she's struggling for air. And that's a direct result of this continued assault on the torso. Here she goes, back in the ring now. Oh, again! Gets her again. Man, she really knows how to handle herself, huh? Looks like she's struggling for air. And that's a direct result of this continued assault on the torso. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. She's on the attack and on the move. Oh, shows no mercy. And that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, what impact. Oh, nasty impact. She just keeps using that. Hey, what, you? Uh-oh. Oh, what impact. Elusive movement there. Into the hammerlock. Oh, boy. And again going for the torso. This is quite the beating, Michael. Time to end this. And Corey, she's really targeting the torso here tonight. Weakening the core. I love it. And that's actually taking quite the beating here, Corey. That's a good way to... Re and Corey, she's really targeting the torso here tonight. Weakening the core. I love it. She ducks out of the way there. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. <laughs> Into the hammerlock. Oh boy. And that section is taking quite the beating here, Corey. That's a good way to rearrange somebody's insides.
in a bad way here, guys. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Into the hammerlock. Oh, boy. Back suplex. Saw that one coming. This could be big. Looks like she's struggling for air. And that's a direct result of this continued assault on the torso. And again going for the torso. This is cool. And Corey, she's really targeting the torso. Possibly looking to injure the torso here. Really focusing on the torso here. An attack like this will really leave you gasping for air. Possibly looking to injure the torso here. Looks like she's struggling for air. And that's continuing the attack on the core. And why not? It's been effective up to this point. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Looks like she's struggling for air. And again going for the torso. This is quite the beating, Michael. And the midsection is taking quite the beating here, Corey. And Corey, she's really targeting the torso here tonight. Weakening the core. I love it. Here we go again. And Corey, she's really targeting. Quickly under the cover with the title on the line. Inside the ring now. I got to tell you, I thought she was done there. She just keeps using that. Hey, wouldn't you? She's looking relentless now. She's capable of bursts of great activity. The key is sustaining the effort. Continuing the attack on the core. And why not? It's been effective up to this point. Looks like she's struggling for air. And that's a... She's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with the results. Full oh, impact. a lot now. And I can't say that I blame her. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. She's trying one more time. Oh, flip. The champ's eyes were glazed over. Unloading their best shot once more. Goes big with a counter. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. For the championship! Red's done it. She's overcome what could have been a career ending injury to become the new NXT Women's Champion. We just witnessed one of the gutsiest performances in NXT history. I'll be the first to admit I was wrong about Red. This was no fluke tonight. She earned every ounce of the gold she now holds in her hands. And there you see Red crossing this achievement off her list. One of many significant things she may go on to cross off in her career. A truly inspiring moment.
for the first time since they started teaming, Trey and Velveteen Dream make their entrance together. Uh, and they've got brand new matching gear. Looking good. Maybe they've turned a corner as far as their team chemistry goes. It's one thing to wear the same gear as your partner, but the real test is going to be in the ring. If these two aren't on the same page when it really matters, the Viking Raiders are going to slaughter them. Look at Trey's moves. He's clearly been studying Velveteen's entrances. Oh, that time would have been better spent watching film on the Viking Raiders, but what's new? This guy's priorities have been out of whack since day one. To be fair, Corey, Velveteen Dream is known for his eccentric entrances, but always delivers when the bell rings. So why can't Trey do the same thing? Well, that's easy. He doesn't have the same level of natural talent that Velveteen has. And besides, look at this guy. He looks like a goof out here trying to do Velveteen's mannerisms. If you're going to put that much effort into your entrance, at least get your own style. Uh, he's just trying to be a good teammate. It's all in good fun. Well, if this is your idea of fun, then that explains a lot. Nonetheless, these two have had an unexpected and impressive run to make it here to the finals. It kind of reminds me of last year when Ricochet and Aleister Black were a somewhat unlikely pairing, and they went on to win the entire tournament. We could see a similar outcome tonight. Uh, highly unlikely. The Viking Raiders have teamed thousands of times all over the world while Trey and Velveteen barely know each other. You can't overstate that kind of advantage. I, I hear you, but look at these synchronized moves. I'm telling you, these two are ready. As this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic final match gets underway, both of these teams look to join a prestigious group of previous winners. Yeah, the first tournament in 2015 included a star-studded field that was won by the team of Samoa Joe and Finn Balor. That's right. Other teams that have their names etched on the trophy include the Authors of Pain and the Undisputed Era. Look, I'm sorry, but the team of Trey and Velveteen Dream doesn't belong among the names you mentioned. The Viking Raiders, however, fit quite nicely. Well, before we just go hand out a trophy to anyone, let's see what happens in this match. He is efficient and dangerous with his offense thus far. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. Whoa, it's another reversal. Tagged in. Amazing reflexes on display. Boom! Right between the eyes. Oh, perfect kick. Showing no signs of defense here, guys. Oh, jeez. Take all the wind out of you. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, again! That will get your attention. Strong oh, kick. My goodness. Showing some weakness. And this match can change that fast. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. Guys, at the risk of sounding like an amateur psychologist, it seems pretty clear that Velveteen Dream absolutely thrives on attention. Nah, don't worry. You just sound like an amateur commentator. Struggling to get to the corner here. Might not make it, Michael. Huh, he's almost there. And his partner's just itching to get in the ring right now. Almost there. So close, so close. Keep going. Come on. Failed on the attack attempt. Face first with a waist lock takedown. He made the attack. Great agility there. Setting up for the... 
Needs to make it to the corner here, Corey. Oh, you're absolutely right, Cole. There's no way around it. A tag is vital at this point in the match. Look out, he's almost there. If he doesn't make the tag, they're in big trouble here, Cole. Well measured. Great reversal. I gotta say, I'm impressed. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Close line. Take your time. Enjoy it. Boom. Before the fist drops on your face. They can just punch him in the chest. Hooked him up. Oh, he's a scoop slam. He's not looking good here, guys. Tagged in. Double axe handle smash. Oh, man. Inverted backbreaker. Ow. I got right to the gut. He's been quickly taking control here. He's capable of turning it on, but he's got to make sure he doesn't fade fast. Somehow has to find a way to make a tag here. Completely agree. Getting the partner in here is absolutely vital. We might just see it here. And this crowd's starting to perk up, Michael. Vicious, aggressive attacks. Oh, it's coming. Oh, the old whipper snapper. This is his chance. Will he seize the moment? Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Big back drop. Absolutely has to make a tag here. Yeah, but that's easier said than done, Michael. Mat slam with some attitude. Dream Valley Driver. And Velveteen Dream tags Trey. It actually looks like he wants Trey to go to the top rope and hit the I told you they're on the same page now. What the hell? No, no, no. Finally, Velveteen Dream has come to his senses. Velveteen Dream has essentially sacrificed Trey to their opponents. He has no chance. It's over. It, guys, the better team won just like I thought they would. And maybe we're going to get an explanation from Velveteen Dream. This is on you, partner. You called the dream out and you questioned the dream's authenticity. But the dream never needed some repulsive trophy for validation. The Dream already knew that there was only one Dream, and that is the Velveteen Dream. At one point, I considered letting you win this thing because the Dream felt sorry for your desperate need for success. But then, you repeatedly stole the Dream's spotlight, leeching off the Dream's moves, the Dream's look, and anything else you can get your hands on. But it's like the saying goes, imitation is the sincerest form of battery.
Oh no. Uh, are those handcuffs? Nice handcuff and tray to the ropes. Just like how this all started. This is getting ugly. The man's helpless. We need someone to put an end to this right now. Look, I'm by no means advocating what's happening, but you have to admit, Trey brought this upon himself. The moment he mentioned Velveteen Dream's name, he was asking for trouble. Uh, pardon me, Red, Trey, you both have huge matches tonight. Do you have a second to comment? No. Yeah, we do. So Candice LeRae has invoked her rematch clause in an Iron Woman match. Now, after everything you've been through, are you ready for your first NXT women's title defense? Well, considering I'll actually be able to see this time, I think I'm more than ready. Trey, you are going to face Velveteen Dream in the first ever No DQ Spotlight match, where in order to win, you must steal your opponent's finishing move. Now, how have you prepared for this unique stipulation? I haven't had to. I've used his purple Rainmaker before, but he's never used my finisher. And on top of that, I might have another trick or two up my sleeve, because you never know when you might need it.
Time to update my school's website again. I'm thinking something like Riley Flash, esteemed trainer of May Young Classic winner and NXT Women's Champion Red. Oh, and NXT Superstar Trey. I guess he's doing all right for himself now. Well, anyway, you keep it up, champ. I got my eye on you. Because of your eye injury a couple weeks back? Yeah, feel free to use that on TV. I might have taken you lightly in our last match because you were injured, but I won't make that mistake tonight. If I was able to beat two opponents with only one good eye, what do you think is going to happen when I only have one opponent and my vision back? I think you'll be able to get a real good look at me standing over you with a title back where it belongs. Sweet fanny pack. Thanks. I was kidding. Anyway, what were you talking about having a trick up your sleeve? Well, actually, it's more like a trick down my pants. That sounds incredibly creepy. Yeah, I hear it now. Uh, let me give you a sneak peek. Still creepy. Okay, I should rephrase. One of my tricks is I'm gonna wear a special outfit to get in Velveteen's head like he does to his opponents. There's three options I'm considering. Which one should I go with? Thanks for your help with that. I'm gonna need every little advantage I can get to defeat him. Look, it's Velveteen Trey! He's even got a fanny pack! We've seen Velveteen Dream wear unique outfits in an effort to get inside his opponent's heads, and now it appears Trey has followed a page from Velveteen's playbook. Uh, so what else is new? He's been stealing from Velveteen's playbook for the last month. That's how they ended up here tonight. It's a nice touch, but I think Trey's gonna need to do a whole lot more to rattle Velveteen. I don't know about that. He looks like he might be rattled right now. I'd chalk that up to pure annoyance more than anything else. How can you tell the difference? After years of putting up with you, I'm pretty much an expert on the subject. Well, the time for psychological warfare is over. Let's find out who will prevail in this unprecedented first ever spotlight match.
This no disqualification spotlight match came about when Velveteen Dream felt Trey was, quote, stealing the spotlight from him when they were partners in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Classic. It puts both men in a unique situation. There are no pinfalls or submissions. The only way to win the match is by using your opponent's finishing move. Velveteen Dream might be unconventional, but he's also one of the most gifted athletes in sports entertainment. I'm sure he'll handle himself just fine under these conditions. This doesn't look good, guys. Oh, right to the back. He's fighting hard, and it's paying off. Watching that never gets old. Back in the ring now. Oh, stomping away. Hammerlock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Oh, harsh impact. Now he's been put on the defensive. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Tough spot to be in. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Inverted suplex. Straight punch. What's he got in mind? Velveteen Dream with the reversal. It's only a matter of time before he hits Trey's finisher. Where's Velveteen going? Oh no. Are those handcuffs? Not again. It appears we're going to have a repeat of what happened after the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Final. And guys, keep in mind, this match is no disqualification. So this is perfectly legal. It might be legal, but it's clear Velveteen Dream's priority isn't winning the match. It's injuring Trey, possibly even ending his career. Hey, this is the match Trey signed up for. He wanted the spotlight. Well, now he's got it. Wait a minute, what's Trey doing? He had a key hidden in his tights. He's unlocking the handcuffs and Velveteen Dream has no idea. This goes back to their very first encounter when Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes and Velveteen had a key. Somehow, Trey actually learned something. Velveteen still has no clue that Trey is free. Velveteen Dream. I never thought I'd see that happen. And now Trey with the steel chair. This is a huge turning point in this match. Trey has now gained complete control over Velveteen Dream. Oh, nasty impact. He continues to press forward. You better hope this stamina holds up. You know, for somebody who hasn't been in the business all that long, I'd say Velveteen Dream sure does have a high opinion of himself. It's almost as if he looks down at the rest of the roster. Doing some more damage here. Michael, that is so dangerous. He had it scouted. Wow, what a sequence. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Reverses. Can he make him pay? Ooh, nasty impact. Momentum. The big M. The key word. It can switch and change at any time. Sent into the corner. 
And it's reversed. Paying for that mistake. Going to be woozy after that impact. Well, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh, he's really taking it to him. Man, this is not good at all. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Extreme Rules matches are brutal, and it's catching up with him. And he's heading back in. Perhaps he's... And now Trey and Velveteen Dream are brawling at ringside. What's Trey doing with that fanny pack? And Trey nails Velveteen Dream with it. Velveteen's out cold. What, what the heck was inside that thing? There's your answer. Real honorable, Trey. Now you said it yourself. This match is no disqualification, so that was perfectly legal. And finds a counter. Not a 
again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Good night. Keep your eyes on this one. He's trying again. A couple of months ago, Trey hijacked an NXT broadcast desperate for the spotlight. Well, after this huge victory over Velveteen Dream, he's now earned it. I don't think it was his plan from the beginning, but it certainly worked out in his favor. Hold on, maybe Velveteen Dream isn't ready to concede the spotlight just yet. He's got that loaded fanny pack that Trey used earlier. What are we witnessing? Is this some kind of strange sign of respect from Velveteen Dream? It's almost like he's putting the championship around the Trey's waist. That was certainly bizarre, but nonetheless a huge win for Trey tonight. The following contest is an Iron Woman match and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Introducing the champion from Washington. She is the NXT Women's Champion. Here we go, guys. The championship is on the line here in this one. And I'll tell you, Cole, the champion has never looked more dominant than right here, right now. It's Candice Wrestling! And introducing the challenger from Anaheim, California, Candice LeRae! You know, Candice is a professional baker, so I wonder if her opponents can smell what the LeRae is cooking. <laughs> oh my God, Byron, just what I think, you couldn't be any dumber. Tell me, guys, does she have a legitimate chance to win this match and walk out of here as a champion? Of course she does, Cole. I mean, it might be less than 1%, but yes, she has a chance of becoming champion here tonight. It's all about the NXT Women's Championship. Everyone who has held that title has gone on to create massive waves in sports entertainment. There are no eyes to the future right now, Cole. These ladies have only one thing in mind, and that's being the next NXT Women's Champion. Guys, in Red's short reign as NXT Women's Champion, she's already successfully defended her championship on several occasions, but never in a match like this.
putting your title on the line in an Iron Woman match is essentially like defending it multiple times in one night with no break in between. It can be extremely taxing, to say the least. Pally, having to do commentary with you, Saxton. Wendy Richter, Trish Stratus, Sherry Martel, Lita. So many great Hall of Famers helped make the Women's Championship the prestigious prize it is today. Guys, I've talked with superstars who've competed in Iron Man matches, and each and every one of them said that there's almost no preparing for the grueling nature of this contest. inside the ranks. Not what she was looking for. She is just dominant right now. We'll see how long she... All the way from the top rope. Whoa. Really just laying it in. Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. What a counter! Four! Oof! Five! The championship is on the line, so the stakes could not be any higher for these two ladies. This one will not disappoint. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. And here we go now! Drop. Boom, what a forearm. Oh, again. Neck breaker. Oh, that was just malicious. Proving tough to match. Folks, the title is on the line in this one. And I can't remember a more highly anticipated title defense. Saw that one coming. Things aren't looking good for her. Oh, my God. Clear the deck. Cannonball coming through. The champion into the cover. Two. It's going to take more than that to keep her down. She is just too quick. Got out of the way. Oh. Hurry. Changes her fortune there. And here we go now. Elbow drop. Specifically targeting the leg. The challenger is in some big trouble. And I... Gets out of the way. And fast. That is a great reversal. A uh, Black Widow. Locked in tight. Battling to get the upper hand. No. She breaks it. Wow. She's quite the escape artist, Michael. Into the hammerlock. Oh, boy. Stringing together some big moves here. Yeah, she's getting after it. Showing great energy. Ooh! And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Back suplex. Turnbuckle to the outside. 
which will start the referee's count. Oh, she turns it around. Bringing it back into the ring. Oh, saw it coming. He's going to try it again. Standing in Spanish block. Over his head. Championship on the line. New champion. How did she kick out? She just will not give up, Cole. Lorraine with a beautiful counter. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Oh. Escapes in a nick of time. Not what she was looking for. Something fast. She somehow breaks free, but you have to wonder how much damage was done. What a hook! Call by the challenger! The champ kicks out at two and a half. And the match continues. She steers clear there. Suplex. 
Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. The champion. Two. Oh, the heck, he keeps kicking out. Wow. That's pure power, guys. Boom, what a forearm. Overhand right lands. Ooh. Harsh impact. Harsh impact. And she's back in the ring now. Uh-oh. Just a step quicker. <laughs> oh, dropped in the cross face. Fighting for survival. She scored a fall late in the match. Reverses. Can she take advantage? Here comes another one. Standing Spanish block. The champion into the cover. One, two, no, another kick out. How in the world? Unreal. What's it going to take? Somehow she's still in the spot shot. It's unbelievable. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Look at this. Wow, that was incredible. The champion gets a foul. Pull up the kick. It's starting to come together in a big way. Yeah, I love the effort here, but she better hope she can sustain it. So precise. Effectively using the knee. Solid contact there. Really targeting the back on that one. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. She's tough, but maybe not tough enough to get the win here. And now looking to get it locked in. She's got her where she wants her. Late in the match, and she is scored. in reds a short Rain is NXT Women's Champion. She's already successfully defended her championship on several occasions, but never in a match like this. Putting her title on the line in an Iron Woman match is essentially like defending it multiple times in one night with no break in between. It can be another attack above the shoulders. So devastating. Things not going her way. 
Her head's got to be pounding right about now, Cole. Look out! From the top! Taking the attack above the shoulders yet again. Man, that'll make your head hurt. The chat to the top turnbuckle. Things not going her way. Her head's got to be pounding right about now, Cole. Here she goes. Look at this. Not what she was looking for. In from the floor. Going for the head here. Going after the neck here. Focusing on the head here. Tough position to be in for sure. Whoa. That'll absolutely give you a headache. That's for sure, Michael. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Look out! Going after the neck area. Guys, I don't know how much more this she can take. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Here we go. Focusing on the head here. Tough position to be in for sure. Going after the neck area. Guys, I don't know how much more this... Going after the neck area. Guys, I don't know how much more this... Taking the attack above the shoulders yet again. Man, that'll make your head hurt. Three. Things oh. not going her way. Her head's got to be pounding right about now, Cole. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Oh, look out! Another attack above the shoulders. So devastating. And the referee starts his 10 count. Bang! Oh my God, what an elbow. Whoa, not so fast. Not looking good right now. She is in a precarious position. Looking to inflict even more damage. Now it's going to get ugly. It's going to get bad up to the top row. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Going after the neck area. Guys, I don't know how much more this she can take. Here's the bone tower on the line. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. The size of this girl's heart is simply immeasurable. Going for the head here. That's one you feel for a few days, Cole. Things not going her way. Her head's got to be pounding right about now, Cole. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Taking the attack out of the shoulders hit again. Man, that'll make your head hurt. She kicked out there, but... I don't know how much more she can take. Hooked him up. Things not going her way. Her head's got to be pounding right about now, Cole. That'll absolutely give you a headache. That's for sure. Things not going her way. Her head's got to be focusing on the head here. Tough position to be in, for sure. Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. Not again. One of these competitors. Another attack about the going after the neck area. Going after the neck area. Going after the neck area. That'll absolutely give you things not going her way. Focusing on the head here. It's a hard position to be in for sure.
going for the head here. That's one you feel for a few days, Cole. Into the hammerlock. Oh, well, going after the neck area. Guys, I don't know how much more that she can take. Another attack above the shoulders. So devastating. Set up for a second time. It's not going her way. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? One, two, three. That will absolutely give you a headache. That's for sure, Michael. Sent to the outside. What are they going to do here? This is not going to be good. Just assaulting the torso here. Clearly part of the game plan, Michael. Two. Bringing it back into the ring. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Oh, had that well scouted. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Nothing's going to stop her now. Yeah, she's a little bundle of energy right now.
Flair with a beautiful counter. Oh. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. She's a lady that can turn it on quickly, no doubt about it. Focusing on her core here. It's almost as if she's obsessed with destroying her midsection. Two. Trying to go for it again. Backbreaker. But champions need to finish the job. I'm not sure Candace is going to be able to continue. Back in from the floor. match up here. Still in it. On oh, the back of the net. Ooh, impressive counter. Running Hurricane Fantastic. Just wearing down the opponent. She better do something fast. She somehow breaks free, but you have to wonder how much damage was done. Nice snap kick, great elevation. She is queuing it up again. Standing Spanish shoulders down. Championship on the line. The defending champion gets a fall. Into the hammerlock. And she almost found herself counted out there. Nobody wants to see this match end like that, Michael. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Look out! Diving cross body! Throwing all costs into the win. Two! Uh-oh. And a suplex! Three. Narrowly avoiding trouble. Yeah, that could have been bad. Oh, the rear super kick! Oh, my, oh, my nasty. Six. Seven. Eight. And she's back in the ring now. Extremely impressive win, guys. I don't think she's ever looked more dominant. That's a title match you're going to be talking about for ages, ladies and gentlemen.